Hey guys, so I am here to film my what's in my hospital bag for baby number two. Um, yeah, I packed this when I had crazy back labor. I did like a big load of laundry and then I started in. So I'm going to sort of empty and show you guys what is in there and then I will show you the bag because it's really heavy. <laughs> I might have to actually put this on my lap, so I'll show you now. Ooh, it is this big tote bag. Um, I got it from DSW as a free gift. I think my mother-in-law actually got it, <laughs> um, but she's nice enough to give it to me. So I use this bag for CC's um, hospital bag as well. I first have a cube of toiletries, deodorant, makeup wipes, mouthwash, um, dry shampoo, cheap, um, uh, toothbrushes, the ones that you get from your dentist, those little, like, sample ones, some shampoo, conditioner, a little bit of lotion, hmm, what else was on here, and I think hairspray and toothpaste. Did I say that already? <laughs> anyway, so there's a little pack. Everything is like travel size except for the um, deodorant. That's a dude's deodorant, but I use it. It smells like lemonade. It's so good. <laughs> it's weird. Um, it's Old Spice, but it's called Wolf Thorn. If you haven't smelled this, oh my god, it's like lemonade. It smells so good. <laughs> anyway, it's just a deodorant, so there's no aluminum in it. And after, like there's cancer that runs in my family, but after Lisa Marie's mom had the cancer um, biopsy done and all that stuff, I was like, why am I still using aluminum deodorant? So thank you, Lisa Marie. I only use deodorant now, not an antiperspirant. <laughs> um, so, I have that, and then I have a bag of honey sticks. They're different flavors. Lemon, lime, sour cherry, sour raspberry. That's what I got. Um, this is just to sort of keep up my energy during labor if I need to. My hospital is pretty cool with like having snacks and stuff. They have a freezer full of like um, popsicles and a fridge with juice and stuff for moms so laboring moms so i was super happy that they let you snack on stuff and then my husband's sleep clothes <laughs> and three pairs of underwear for him um some undershirts for my husband and three t-shirts for my husband then for me i have three pairs of underwear. I have a nursing bra, which I don't want to show you. <laughs> My husband's socks. And then, I'm so glad I'm doing this because I just realized I have no clothes to come home in. <laughs> I just have um, my, <laughs> I have my, like sleep clothes <laughs> so there's a nursing bra and then on top that gray thing is like a little teddy and then the black and white flowered thing is a thin robe i don't have any clothes to come home in <laughs> so that's really funny of course i have three outfits for the boy <laughs> i have this cute little number now the bag is super floppy so i have this little long sleeved onesie that has a little mitten thing in it newborn size with little piles and because of the lightning bolts on it i thought maybe i could just uh put his little his little gryffindor hat on isn't that so cute um, and then I have, there's, oh, sorry, didn't mean to tip you guys over. 
I have a like little space outfit. It has this um, rockets. Have it has these rockets on it with little gray pants and a little teal onesie that says, "Mommy thinks I'm out of this world." So, and this is a Carter's three months. I feel like Carter's runs small. So he might be in Carter's newborn. He might be in um, just uh, Carter's three months. This is from Cat and Jack. So the Target brand. Um, my friend got this. <laughs> Muy guapo. <laughs> With little newborn gray pants, depending on how hot it is. I thought that was super cute. If you guys don't know, I am half Hispanic, so I thought it was cute. I mean, I don't speak Spanish or anything, but <laughs> I thought it was super adorable. And then this is the last outfit. Little brother three month and little three month footed pants that goes with it and then I got two sleepers this cute little newborn sleeper it's a puppy <laughs> and then the little feet oh it's not focusing focus okay little feeties <sighs> and then these are like my favorite things to put my baby in for like the first few weeks <laughs> um, it's a sleep gown it has the cuffs on the hands it says little cutie and it's a gown because the bottom is all stretchy so Super easy access in the middle of the night for all those feedings um, and changing of the diapers. Uh, and this is a zero to three months little outfit. Okay, so things that I have not um, put in here that I will put in here are first coming home outfit for myself. <laughs> um, second, cell phone charger. So my cell phone, of course, will come with. Um, I put down floss. I don't know if I actually need floss for just a couple of days. Um, my camera and my husband's fancy camera. I will need to pack makeup and um, a large tripod. Now, I heard from a midwife that I'm not allowed to actually take video of the birth but the day of I can always ask and see if they're cool with it <laughs> um, she said I could film any part of the labor that I want to it's just me I could do all that um, so I don't know if I will actually get my V back on camera I hope I do but we'll see <laughs> okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video Leave some comments down below. Tell me what's in your diaper bag or what you guys put in um, your second time around or your first time around that you really liked. Um, I keep doing checklists and they're like, bring newborn diapers, but the hospital provides that, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm curious to know what's in your diaper bag or what was in your diaper bag that I don't have in mine. <laughs> All right, bye guys.